What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we made it to Moss Thief City, and we did a little bit of a tour. Sorry that the screen was on. I was doing some business off screen. So now, in this episode, we're going to be going straight up north of Moss Deep, and we're going to be exploring a cave here and there, you know, battling a few trainers because we need to. And, uh, yeah, you guys are not mistaken. I did use, uh, what was it called? Uh, a Lanoon. Well, we kind of need Lanoon just in case, you know, things are, I guess, in the, in, the, in the right order right here. If not, then, yeah, we're going to have to wait, I don't know, how many hours. And, uh, if you could, like, I, I just realized something here, guys. So, if you guys remember, when I was, uh, you know, when the pandemic was still going on and all that crud, um... I was doing a whole bunch of walkthroughs, and one of them was Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. While I was doing it, while I was doing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I was, like, talking to you guys and then ordering a, a, a uh, Nintendo 3DS. Old Nintendo 3DS with a capture card that involves a wire. Many of you guys already know that I've had my issues with uh, Wi-Fi capture cards. Pokemon Omega Ruby is a pure, is a prime example of it because, well, shoot, it, it constantly needs updates. You constantly need to find the updates online, and sometimes when you get said updates, some of them have computer viruses. While I was doing uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I was ordering a wired capture card online, and I managed to get it. Now, there was one thing that I didn't. I didn't take into consideration the region this capture card was at. So, you guys got to remember that <laughs> wherever you buy 3DS, Nintendo 3DSs, you got to take a look at where the region it's from. I got mine. I will. The region this one is coming off of is Australia. And unfortunately, I can't really switch the region or anything because it's already there. That's why it's currently daytime. It's currently daytime as I'm playing this, but it's nighttime in the game. So you guys can you guys can kind of see where this is all going and all that crud. And uh, I don't know. This is kind of like a a typical Draven thing, where he doesn't really he reads the he reads the uh, what was it called? Uh, he reads the 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 description of what he's getting, but he doesn't really read it fully. If you guys remember, if you guys have been with me for very, very long, um, when I was Draven XC711, I did get myself an original wired capture card at, at 3DS uh, XL. The only problem was that this 3DS XL happened to be in Japanese, and then bam, we got ourselves some Japanese Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire walkthroughs in Japanese. It was just a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of things that I wasn't really taking into consideration. And here we have Coil. This, uh... Oh, wow, okay. So let's go right ahead and take away... You know what? Let's take away Facade. We can relearn it anytime we want. We could use Coil for this, you know, for this particular thing. But yes, that's kind of me. So this current capture card that I have right now is Australian. And, uh, yeah. That's... Yeah. <laughs> we really can't do much except just play play with it and all that stuff um when i trade when i trade the pokemon it's usually with the american version and i guess if you go into like because eventually i'm going to show you guys some trades i'm going to show some some things onto this channel like reels to show that like you know this is how you trade a pokemon from this and that in the pokedex in the pokedex it's going to officially say i guess european oceanic or australian i don't know it's going to show something like that, guys. And, well, look at this. Holy crud. Okay, so... Hmm. We need to poison this Pokemon right here. And we need to bulldoze that Pokemon. Luckily for us, you know, Toxic Batman and Alteria cannot be hurt like that. And, yes! Alteria is poisoned. Here comes a Dragon Stance. Okay, so we have to work quickly. Because that is going to mess us up right here. So here comes a bulldoze attack, and that is not well. It's super effective, but it's not what it we expected. Holy bucket! Okay, so Toxic Batman is getting its butt kicked. Now we have to we have to hit Alteria pretty hard right here. So let's go with the Confuse Ray. 
And Rock Slide for both of these Pokemon right here. So there you go. Alteria will not be able to attack if it hurts itself. So come on, Pokemon gods, help us out. Here comes the Dragon's Dance yet again. So officially, it's the most powerful Pokemon here. And uh, yeah, we kind of need to just beat it real quick. Luckily, we do have Rock Slide. This will help us out just a bit. And Camelrupt is, yes, losing its speed. And it's increasing its attack and defense. So that right there is going to... Yeah, we're kind of playing with we're, we're kind of playing with uh, with fire right now. So, let's see. Let's go with the fly. Let's go with Camerupt, and let's go with the rock slide right here. And wow, Totten Guard. This is this is a this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. But here we go, rock slide. That right there defeats Alteria with all its boosted stats. And. Well, there we go. Toxic Batman grows to level 36. And yes, everybody else is getting some points. And yes, Camel Rump has flinched. And you know what? Let's go right ahead and just use a Bulldoze attack. Here comes a Fly attack from Toxic Batman. And just like that, Camel Rump has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. All right. And well, Kim and Chris, or Kim and Iris, have been defeated. Okay. Feeling good. I'm feeling great. Now, before we go into the the cave, we kind of need to. Well, I kind of want to battle everybody else. I do. I kind of want to experience points. You know, we kind of need our Pokemon stronger than ever. I mean, I did switch out quite a few Pokemon, and here we found ourselves a big pearl. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So let's see. What do we have here? And let's see. We we, we got to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go. With Gaia the Fierce Knight, it is about to turn to level 50. Kind of like, you know, its age and all that stuff. So, anywho. Yes, sir. Yes, we... We have been putting... We, we, we've been putting in some work, guys. Huh. We've been putting in a lot of work with this walkthrough right here. And, uh, I believe... Yeah, we, we are close to getting into some legendary stuff right here, so... There we go. Love Disc has been defeated. And Claymore great, getting to level 35 right there. And it's learning Iron Tail. Now, let me see something right here. Iron Tail, both 15 PP. It's a lot stronger than Iron Head. You know what? I'd rather keep Iron Head just because it's more accurate and all that stuff. More. We, 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 we do have quite a few moves that can actually help us out right here. Okay, so... Let us move on right here, and uh, let's see. I have been saying in the older episodes that I will be capturing and doing a lot of stuff, um, you know, off screen. I have, and I haven't. The only problem, and it's mainly because, well, shoot, you know, my, my schedule got really busy. Um, believe it or not, guys, for the last two months, I have not recorded, not done any voiceovers. Um, I've just been editing that's it um back in july like right before july 4th i've done in the in the span of three three days i did 40 episodes which were the first 40 episodes that you're seeing that you've seen and that's why it kind of sounded like throughout the months a little delayed and all that stuff that's that's what's been going on and the reason reason behind that is because well the schedule that i have right now got crazy Insanely crazy, and look at this guy of the fierce knight grows to level 50. And uh, you know, I'm actually glad that I, 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 you know, I stocked up on videos because you know, I didn't want to miss out on a day or anything like that. I've been keeping true to an episode per weekday, and uh, many of you guys have liked, uh, have, have, have appreciated it too, so I'm happy for that. There has just been maybe one or two, well, there have been two weeks where there hasn't been anything there has been a week where i've been a little delayed and all that stuff and it's mainly because well your boy draven likes to you know he finally went out in the just a little bit okay so can you blame me can you can you really blame me not really so let's go with i don't know why i'd use that but surf attack and this one will hit it a little harder because it is holding the mystic water like a necklace and all that stuff okay if you if Leviathan is wearing a Mystic Water, will it fall off? 
or will it not? That is a good question right there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and switch to Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Alrighty. Okay, Gaia the Fierce Knight. Let's do it. And, well, that right there. Okay, so let's go with Magical Leaf. See what, what this does. And, well, there we go. Staryu has been defeated. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. There's nothing else we can do except for just... <laughs> just do that. Okay, so... What's the next one right here? There is probably another trainer hidden around here somewhere. And, yes, we do need a repel because... Yeah, we don't want to get attacked or anything like that. There are a few spots right here for secret bases, so just make sure to be aware of that. And... Well, there's nothing there. And let's go right here. And here we are in the Shoal Cave. So unfortunately, we got high tide right here. At certain times throughout the day, you will be getting high tide, low tide, and all that stuff. And are you planning on going deep in here? How about bringing me back some soul sh uh, shoal sh Wow, I can't even say it right. Shoal salts and shoal shells. I can make you something nice. And... The messed up part about this this visit right now, guys, is that we won't be able to go on low tide. Maybe, maybe the next episode. But then again, it depends on you know what time this, what time I'm at in here. So we're gonna go with high tide first. And as you guys can see, we need surf. So bringing in uh, Lanoon was not. Well, yeah, bringing the noon was uh, just w was more of a just in case kind of thing because, well, yeah. But here we are looking at these white little items right here. These are the shoal shells. Try saying that 19 times. And uh, well, let's go right here and let's go up here. Grab this, and we found ourselves another shoal shell. That right there will help us. And. Uh, well, let's see. What else is there? Ah. Now, if we get, what, three or four? Maybe five? Six? I, I'm just coming up with a number, guys. But if we can, if we get a certain amount for both show, uh, show salts and show shells, you will be able to get yourself a shell bell, which, uh, in turn, will will help heal your Pokemon automatically. It's kind of it's kind of like the leftovers and all that crud, so just be aware for that. And there are specific Pokemon you can grab right here, too. Here we found ourselves another rare candy that can uh, definitely be useful. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're not going to battle any of these Pokemon right here. So we're going to grab this. Look at that. Show shell. Does its thing. And go right over here. And, bam, we found ourselves another show shell. Show shell, show shell, show shell. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of show shells. Can't even pronounce these things right. So, let's see, where do we go now? I think that's pretty much it for this. High Tide really sucks, guys, it really does. So, let's go right here. And... Well, you will be finding this, a big pearl. And I think that is pretty much it. Unless I'm mistaken, there's probably one or two things that you can do. That sounds like a Pokemon that we will be needing later on, I guess. Go with another repel and trying to get through these whole things right here. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> it looks like that's the only thing you can do right now in a high tide. And it bugs me. It really does because it's like, why do I always get high tide? I want to get low tide, that way the high tide comes in easier. I don't know. Maybe it's the times. Maybe I should check the times to see what time the, the high tide comes in. So, let's see. There is the entrance area for, you know, the low tide, but right now we can't do anything about it. Okay, my bad, guys. Uh, so I didn't have enough memory on my computer to get whatever didn't get got. I don't know. But everything's all right. Uh, that's what happens when you don't record for about two months. You just let things right there, and you just don't remember anything. So, ha, my bad. Anywho, um, high tide, you... Why must you hate me so? Um... What if I go in again and see if it's low tide? Yeah, it's still there. So, 
it looks like to me I'm gonna have to check up on the the times for the low tide and high tide thing um, and then put the equivalent I guess make the equivalent through Australia time or something like that because that for me is going to be something of a difficulty mainly because it's like okay I don't know what time is is it over in Australia especially in this game so yeah certain Pokemon come out at certain times that right there is going to be that, that right there is going to be a challenge so we're gonna we're gonna end off our episode right here in the next one guys we're gonna be going into the gym and hopefully hopefully we win our next badge so thank you guys again for being patient thank you guys again for being uh you know supportive as always i will be back for another episode of our pokemon alpha sapphire walkthrough see you guys